1,500 people coming here today. Isn't that amazing? And just think what that says about Reading to people in the wider area. We're an open, tolerant, diverse society. We're proud in this town. Let's hear it for Reading. Come on, Reading. And again, Reading. Thank you. And it's, it's moving and it's humbling for me. 50 years ago, this was illegal. 50 years ago, being gay in Britain was illegal. And now we're here and we've got a massive display of solidarity with gay people. And isn't that good? And in Reading, we're a tolerant, diverse community. I'm here as a new, slightly surprised local MP because I didn't expect to win. I'm somebody who woke up on the election day thought the next day, or the next week, I was going to be starting a new job, but I got the wrong, I didn't realise quite what I was expecting. So I'm very proud to be your MP, and I'm going to be standing up for minority rights in this yeah! town. I'm going to be standing up for rights, and I'm going to be standing up against people like the DUP. Yeah! The DUP, who are propping up a hopeless, divided, unpopular and ultimately weak and wobbly Tory government. And I'm also going to be, hopefully in a few months' time, a member of a new Labour government that will be standing up for equality and diversity in this country, in this town, both in Reading East and in Reading West as well. So come to our Labour store and sign up and get involved. We're campaigning really hard to win Reading West. Normally the two seats go at the same time. We're close behind them in Reading West. We're going to chase them out of Reading West next. I don't, want to, I don't want to keep you from the music for too long, but I just want to say about three key things that I'm doing to support equality and support young people and diversity in this town. The first one is that I'm passionately against austerity. I think austerity has gone too far. The cuts are too deep. The cuts are too deep! Why should an LGBT teenager not have help from the police if they're bullied? Why should they not have help from their school when they're bullied? And the answer is that the Tories don't care. They've cut key public services and they're making them for all sorts of people around the town. So I'm campaigning against that. We're voting against it. We're going to have lots of late night close votes. We're going to chase and harry the Tories until they give up the ability to run this country and then there'll be an election and there'll be a Labour government. The second thing that I'm doing, because we believe in a tolerant, diverse Britain, is I'm also standing up against the hard Brexit. And you might have seen that Keir Starmer last Sunday made a superb statement in The Observer calling for a long process of transition and you never know, maybe that won't even lead to Brexit at all. But we've got to have a calm, sensible relationship with Europe. We're diverse and tolerant in this country. We want to be friends with Europe. The third thing that I'm doing is to stand up for housing for young people. <laughs> Reading has enough brownfield land, all those old industrial estates down by Cardiff Road in Whitley, enough for every house that we need till 2036. But the Tory government has stopped the council from building council houses. Isn't that mad? Isn't that crazy? And it's wrong. And it means that young people can't get a house. They've also stopped the council from insisting that there should be a certain amount of affordable private accommodation when there's a new development. And that's wrong. And it's stopping young people getting houses and flats. So I'm going to be campaigning against that. And I make no, I'm unashamed in my criticism of Alok Sharma. Whilst he might be the neighbouring MP, he's the Tory housing minister and he's completely wrong on housing policy. So without boring you further and trying to keep it short and sweet, thank you for listening to me. Sing a song! I'm really proud to be here today. Reading's a diverse city. Let's hear it for Reading one more time. Thank you. Ah, uh, it's working. Ah, uh, thank. Come on, make some noise, Mr. Mike Rodder.